Me personally, I've always seen myself as a Kiwi. I was sort of born in New Zealand, brought up there, so play for New Zealand, so everything, all my mates in New Zealand, etc., and the way I speak, you know, the way I act, it's all, it's all Kiwi, and I'm very proud of my Indian heritage. You know, I'm, you know, I love going back to Bangalore and seeing my family, and obviously mum and dad are um, proud Bangaloreans, but you know, they're Kiwi now too. They spend so much time in New Zealand, but um, yeah, it's been, it's pretty warming to have that sort of a support in Chennai. I mean, I sort of felt it during the World Cup, going to different venues, and then being able to experience it here I think it's a different feeling having you know people chant your name and it's uh, yeah it's, it's again hard to put in words the love that the fans show and you know the fanfare that CSK fans have you know even just the little things you know like you know they're always supporting you you have a good game bad game doesn't matter you know they they back you all the way which is similar to sort of the coaching staff so I think it's, uh, it's quite cool. It's been a pretty uh, cool experience being able to play cricket in different environments around the world and represent my country and uh, now the IPL. I guess it's changed just in terms of there's more on my, on my plate, there's more sort of I uh, think about from a scheduling point of view and um, being able to rub shoulders with different guys around the world which is pretty cool but I wouldn't say life has changed, change. I guess I'm, I'm still me at the end of the day that the person I am and hopefully I continue to do that but um, yeah I guess the opportunities have, have increased which has uh, been a really cool experience. Probably the most fun I've had on a cricket field. Obviously, it's easy to say that when you've had a decent game, but I think it's more about the connection I have with Dev and the and the time we spent out there in the middle and um, the whole craziness about it. It's even to think reminisce on it right now is um, is pretty special. I mean, it, it gets me feeling a different type of way, I guess. And yeah, I, I guess a potential pivotal moment. I'd probably think about that warm up game against Pakistan too. I think you know I hadn't batted up the order for New Zealand and getting opportunity because you know Will Young had a rest and I guess it. it gave me the opportunity to, to show to demonstrate my skills and luckily enough you know the sword and I ended up playing that first game but yeah I mean this thing is it's hard to say it's one moment right there's probably been a, a number of factors in, in my career in my life it's not necessarily just one performance that happens or whatever it is it's uh we always talk about the process and I firmly believe that you know it's a long process and it's still a long journey ahead of me. I love sort of playing for New Zealand and, I, and that environment is great and I think it's very similar to that. I think the way we talk about the process and the enjoyment factor and getting around each other and having the empathy for each other, which I think CSK has been great. I've only you know been here for a couple of weeks and played three games, but that's the sort of vibe I'm getting. Um, it's just a great place to play cricket. I think you see, I don't know whether it's potential other teams around the world, whatever it is, like there's a bit of pressure and you know in cricket around the world anyways, you have so much external pressure from yourself and from you know the pundits and everything. So. I think the great thing about CSK, at the end of the day, it's just executing that ball, ball after ball, and doing your process. Because look, you can't control the result most of the times, but you can control your, you know, your process and your pre-ball and your demeanor and your calmness. And I think that's been sort of drummed into the CSK environment for a number of years. It's obviously MS got a very funny sense of humor. I think people probably don't give him credit enough for for that. I mean, I've kind of been in two meet and greet sort of things with him and uh, he makes a lot of people laugh so it's quite cool to see that but anyways yeah it's it's just comforting you know it's it's nice having Kiwi boys around that I'm used to spending time with I mean even Flem and Tommy Simsek have been part of the you know the setup and having you know Sat and Daryl here and obviously Dev will join later on guys I've spent a lot of time with recently probably made me feel a bit more comfortable and Sat who's a vet, almost a veteran of this team now and you know he can show you the ropes and you can lean on him a lot and um He's a very helpful guy, so it's, it's nice to have that, you know, being able to be comfortable in the environment. But I think that's the thing, it's just for that first transition, now you feel like, you know, you get to know everyone on the team and the support staff and everyone's so welcoming. So, um, yeah, it's just it's the way it went. Amazing person, he's an amazing coach. He's obviously a, a legend cricketer. I mean, I'm a huge fan of, of him, uh, not just cricket-wise, but even off the field. He's uh, got great yarns, and you know, he holds the conversation very well, and it's very funny. But um, I mean, I'm very honoured to even be compared to to a guy like that. You know, he's he's an amazing cricketer, done his like done his thing internationally, scored so many runs, and been part of an amazing Australian team, and also did his thing with Chennai for for a long period of time. You know, being able to win titles and do that at the top of the order. I don't know, like I guess. Yeah, just probably the similarities come from left-handers. <laughs> I'm not sure um, what else it comes from. He, yeah, again, if I can be anything like him, it'd be amazing. 
great cricketer. I think he's the perfect modern day cricketer, you know, can do it all facets, bat, bowl and field. He's uh, done it for a number of years and, you know, I've played, played him a few times and you, you see how skillful he is as a bowler and a batter and his consistency and being able to share, you know, the same field with him is pretty cool. I mean, I've I've grown up looking at him sort of bowling left arm spin and tried to model a few things, take what I can and, um, I mean, the way he's also, you know, progress with his batting is amazing. He can bat, you know, five, six in a, in a red ball game um, now, which, you know, previously in his career, sort of like more of an eight. Um, and I think it just shows his hard work and, and the way he's gone about his business. Also, I mean, he's won trophies, that title last year. I mean, I've seen that video a lot of times, but it's still sort of, even though I'm not part of the team, I wasn't part of the team back then, it still gives you goosebumps, you know, 10 off two, not, you're not winning that very often, you know, uh, probably, you know, once in a hundred. So it's just testament to his calmness and ability and his skill. Would have been very, very young when he was sort of playing his career. I think he finished in 2008 and I was only eight years old. So obviously didn't watch him too much playing, but um, from his leadership stand standpoint and, you know, how the players talked about him and the sort of figure he was in the dressing room, you know, you, it's, uh, it shows and why he's potentially gone so well with Tunai 2 and um, in the coaching sort of space. He's a very calm, calm guy, obviously a, a great tactician. Um, you know, he's captain New Zealand for a number of years, so he knows the game in and out. And the, the best thing about him, he's very caring too. You know, he, he always will come up for you with a chat. You know, he always wants to help you get better. And um, I think that's what's important. Um, and being able to have that relationship uh, with your head coach is, uh, is special. Like we talk about the sort of fanfare and stuff that I get for myself, but honestly, Matt, like he is on another level. You know, he's, he's like a god, isn't he? He's achieved so much for Chennai, achieved so much for India, and being able to play in the same team as him is, is amazing. You know, I've watched him countless of games growing up. 2011 World Cup, I was 11 years old watching on TV. Just those little things and the, the way he's finished so many games. It's, uh, it's like, again, it's hard, it's hard to put into words to, to share a dressing room with him. Um, and just the experience of, of him being part of the team, his calming presence on the field, you know, it's not up and down roller coaster emotion. It's probably helps he's played so much cricket, but I think he's he leads that calmness from a from a Chennai Super Kings point of view. And obviously Rutu is great at doing that too. Um, it makes all the players feel welcome and not afraid to make a mistake. I think everyone's comfortable in being themselves and trying to push the team forward and push the game forward because that's that's the way you know Chennai operates and that's sort of that comes from Dhoni. Um, but it's just experiencing everything around it, how the fans love him, you know, he, like it's just crazy the amount of noise every time he's involved in anything. It's uh, it's crazy, and I'm very privileged to experience, you know, some some of the best fan bases in the IPL.